in this special project, you get to make a project about anything you are interested in. My project is about tontitech.com. Let me show you how to add images, text, even video to your project. I will also show you how to publish your project as a QR code and how to use tiny URL. This is very exciting. Let's get started. So when you are in Google Slides, on this project, you do have to add some text. I'm going to click the T in the box and then click to add text. I'm going to write my name in this box and you can move the box around as well. When you're done with your writing, if you select your writing, let me select it. I'm going to click, 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 and then I can do some things with this. I can increase the size or make it bold. And you can do lots of cool stuff with your writing when it is selected. Let me put this box exactly where it should go. Now, in this project, you have to add text and these lines and add images or videos into the boxes. So let's start adding stuff to our project where it says insert image here. If I click it, there are some things you can do. You can insert an image by uploading from your computer. You can search the web for an image. You can add images from your Google Drive. You can add images by URL or address, or you can use the camera. I'm going to start off by adding one by searching the web. Let me check on the internet for Tanti Tech, because that is what I'm putting, making my project about, Tanti Tech. Now, when I search for Tanti Tech, I don't get it. Let me search for TantiTech.com. Nothing. Okay, that didn't work. Let me try a different way to get it. I'm going to search by URL or by address. So let me open up tontitech.com and see if I can do this. If I copy the address, I've copied tontitech.com. That is the URL. Let me right click and paste it in and see what happens. Boom. It doesn't work. Tontitech.com doesn't work for this. So another way of fixing this problem is to take a screenshot. I just took a screenshot. I'm going to go to insert image upload from the computer and I'm going to find the image find the screenshot on my computer and open it here it is now one of the cool things in Google Slides is you can move images around and resize them just by using these kind of blue squares you can make shapes you can make images fit into different shapes now next I'm going to add text by clicking on the T or inserting text Again, you can shape the text box, whatever way you want. I'm going to add some text right now. Here we go. Let me add all this text about that one. If I select all the text, I can fill it with a color or fill in the background with a color. I'm going to select a white color and look what happens. Boom. Now the lines that were behind it are gone because it's been filled with a white color, that, that text box. But you know what? I'm going to go back to transparent. Transparent means it's see-through, and that was the way that it was originally. I'm going to add a shape to my project. Now, this shape, I'm going to make it big, and I'm going to send it to the back, and I'll show you why. If I right-click on this shape, order, send to the back, and now it's all the way in the back. And what you can do with this shape, then, is you can fill it with a color. Let me fill it with a custom color. Custom colors are super cool because you can set transparency. So make it a little bit see-through. Whoa, now it's a little bit see-through. I'm going to upload some more images into this project and put them where I want them to go. I do want to add a video as well. So I'm going to insert a video. You have to go to where it says insert video. So, and when you click video, then you have some choices. You can pick any of these things. You can add one by URL. You can add one from your Google Drive. If you put a video in your Google Drive, it's easy to add. Or you can go to YouTube. You can search right here as well. I'm going to go to YouTube to add a video. When you're in YouTube, if you find a video you like and you click it, there are two ways to get the address of the video. One is the top, the URL at the top. The other one is the share button. Let me click the share button and copy the address to this video. Boom, here we go. Let's go back to the project and hit the button that says insert video. 
and we're going to paste the URL because I copied the address. A URL is an address to something on the internet. Paste it in, press select. Here it is. And then you can just shape it and squeeze it down. Just make it fit wherever you want in your project. And then let me see if this works out pretty good. Let me hit present and see how this is looking right now. Does the video work? The video is working. That's good. I'm happy with that. The next step in the project is just to complete your writing and change things around. Make it look the way you want it to look. I'm going to add my background um, shape as a black box and I'm going to change my writing, change all the colors, make it look exactly how I want. I love it. It's good to go. I want to publish this. To publish your project, this is very important. You see up here in the top where it says file. If you click file and you go down, all the way down to where it says publish to the web. Now this is very important if you're sharing your work. If you click where it says publish to the web, you turn your project into a web page. I'm going to click publish. When you click publish, you do have to probably press OK. Do you want to publish it? Yes, I do. And here's the address. But check the settings. The settings down here says require viewers to sign in with their CPS account. If you want them to have to sign in, click it. But I don't want that. I'm going to uncheck it because I just want you to click and then you can see my project. I'm going to click on the address to my project and copy it. OK, let's pause here. If you copy the address to this project, you can go to the classroom wall, click on the link button and paste the link on the wall. You can also choose to click file, download an image and publish an image of your work by uploading it to the classroom wall. That's easy and good enough. Publishing your work is all I want you to do. Congratulations. But I want more. Let's see how to publish a project as a QR code and as a tiny URL. I'm going to click on the address to my project and copy it. Now this address is insanely long. It's like so long. Let me prove it to you. I'm going to go to a QR code maker, rocket ship number seven. I'm going to click on a URL as a type of QR code, a website address. It's a web page address. Right click and paste. Now look at what happens to this QR code. I have a lot of characters in my web page address and my QR code has a lot of stuff in it. Look at that QR code. It has a lot of information, a lot of details. So I'm going to do something very special. I'm going to tiny URL to make my URL tiny. Tiny URL is a free way that you can take long URLs and make them tiny. Let me paste in the long URL and I'm just going to click make tiny and see what happens. So when you click make tiny, it takes your long URL. Look at this. My original URL had 167 characters. That is really long. But tiny URL shrunk it down to this, to 28 characters. But even that URL, I can do better. Look at this. Look at this magic. I'm going to paste the long URL in. And instead of hitting make tiny, I'm going to give it a custom name. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to make up a name for my project, for my web page. I'm going to call it Andres. Tinyurl.com forward slash Andres. Let's see if it works when I hit make tiny. No, it doesn't work. It's not going to work. Somebody already took that name. Every URL has to be unique. It has to be one of a kind. Let me try Tanti Tech dash project. Maybe that will work. Maybe nobody has that one taken. Let me click make tiny and see if it works. Here we go. And um, it says that the tiny URL was created. It worked. It took my original URL with 167 characters. Crazy long, impossible to remember. And it shrunk it down to 37 characters. Hmm, that's a lot shorter. And is it an easy to remember URL? Well, tinyurl.com forward slash tanti tech dash project. Yeah, it's kind of easy to remember, to be honest. I'm going to copy this URL. Click where it says copy to clipboard. Now I have copied my, my tiny URL. I'm going to change this long one in the QR code. Delete it and paste in the new one. Look at this beautiful QR code. Look at this QR code. This QR code is beautiful. It is easy to scan and it uh, has a short URL that it links to. Let's go publish all this stuff. We've done all the hard work. It's time to publish it. I'm going to go to the classroom wall. 
I'm going to grab this QR code and drag it up to the wall, down onto the wall, leave go, boom, here we go. Now, while it's uploading, I'm going to jump back to the, um, the website address, the tiny URL, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it in when I write about my project. So let me jump back to the wall, click the pencil, and do my writing. Every time you publish, make sure you include your name and your title or description. So I'm going to write my name and I'm going to write my stuff and I'm going to paste in my tiny URL. Boom, here it is. Click at the top. It sticks to the wall. It says that you can scan the QR code or you can click on the link. Let me click on the link and see if all of this magic actually works. Here we go. Let's click it. Boom. Yeah, cool. It works. This is my project. I like this. My friends, I hope that you will be able to turn your project into a tiny URL and into a really nice QR code 